Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 19 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. Now I hope you are all enjoying the festive period. So in the last episode we did play a couple of games. We uh, we experimented a little bit with our, form our formation. Nothing too drastic but we did mess around with it a little bit as we were searching for our first win and I think it was three or four games at the time. So we did set up a bit of a new formation. Went to Arsenal and only got a 0-0 draw. Still a relatively decent performance. And then we finally got our first win in five or four, again, I can't really, I can't remember what it was. We did have a bit of a run without a win. And it come at the hands of none other than Newcastle at St. James's. It was an excellent performance. It was only a 1-0 win, which was quite frustrating. But we absolutely battered them. We had shot after shot. And I think by the end of the game, I think we had 12 shots to their one. So that was a very dominant performance. But today, we do have two massive games. We do have the quarter-finals of the Carabao Cup, which is huge because I have been saying from the beginning of the series that I want a run in the Cup. My goal has always been the quarter-final. I like to set that as the sort of standard. And we've done it. So now we are going to be taking on Norwich. And after that, I think, if I remember correctly, it is Manchester City. It is Manchester City, which will also be a very difficult game indeed. But in the last episode, there was a comment... Uh, someone asked me to have a look at the uh, the reports, the squad hub, and uh, see how everyone's improving and what have you. So here we are, we have Cabrera, who is still 18, rated 78, it's just absolutely mad. He's improved by 2. Blazari, now rated 78, improved by 1. Juan Basaka improved by 1. We do have this lad who I've just uh, signed on, uh, one of the, a youth player, he's called Cathal Staunton from Ireland, 17, rated 62. Probably not going to do much. I might train him up a little bit and sell him off. We'll have to see. Akpo improved by one. Lillian Dharma hasn't improved. Twansby hasn't improved. It is a little bit early, I suppose, to look at uh, the squad reports and stuff. But uh, either way, it's nice to have a look. Dominguez, though, improving by three, which is absolutely insane. Ayat hasn't improved. Riveros has improved by one. Henry has improved by one. Grujic has not improved. Hendo hasn't gone up or down, which is good considering he is 30, but he's been excellent. Uh, Power has remained the same. Tomley the same. Sangari has gone up by one. Uh, Honeyman has remained the same. Davies has gone up by one. Jones has gone up by one. Gomez up by one. Uh, Dylan Kelly, the youth player, has gone up by three. Still going to try and work out why I'm going to play him. It's, he could play as a centre mid or as a cam. His weak foot is only one star, which is a little bit worrying. Um, uh, pace, not great. He has good agility. Uh, and it, he's all on sort of passing. Is pretty decent. He, he does a half decent finish on him with 68, I suppose, considering his position. Dribbling skills and ball control is excellent. So maybe a bit of a ball playing midfielder. We'll have to see with that one. Gooch has improved by one. Dennis by one. Magic by two. Brereton by one. Diaz by three. So that is the uh, squad report which was requested. But now let's head into this uh, game at home. Uh, against Norwich in the quarter final of the Carabao Cup. We are going to have to rotate quite massively in this one, I'm pretty sure, because the team were exhausted from what I can remember. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's quite a lot of... I mean, defensively, like Twan's been lying down, which is not too bad, but I will have to just quickly shuffle this squad around. Guys, I've just noticed that Gucci's sprint speed is 95. Jesus Christ, where did that come from? 95, that's absolutely mad. I've genuinely never noticed that. I always saw him as a sort of mid-80s, maybe low-80s. Shit, I need to play him more, don't I? <laughs> but this is the team we're going to go with. We have Cabrera in goal, Riveros, Twanzaby, uh, Lillian Dahmer and Acapo across the back. We have Singari and McTominay in the middle with Gooch on the right, Jones on the left, Gomez as the cam with Breverton up top. Let's get into it. And here we go at the study gym light, welcoming Norwich, Twanzaby, of course, leading... Us out in this one, very much a mixed lineup with some players that I haven't played with in quite some time, which uh, I've been wanting to do. But because we have been playing solid, we haven't necessarily been losing games. I don't like to change the lineups too much, but of course I've been kind of forced into it here. The likes of Sangari, who I was after for so long throughout the series, hasn't really got a game because Grugia can handle. We've been playing so well in midfield, but straight away we are breaking down this side. Akpo with his famous cross. And it has been headed wide. I do miss Akpo in the championship. He was just absolutely insane. The assist king for breaking down that right side. Just again, wan Saka has been fantastic so far. They are breaking down this right side now. Get into him, get into him. That'll do. Well played. Breakout wide. That's it. Great ball. Inside, get there first. Over the top. 
That'll do fantastic stuff, Gooch. You've got 95 pace on your faster than him. Get it across goal. Good ball. It's in. Fantastic counter-attacking football. And it's Jordan Jones who gets to the end of it. Get in. What a start. Absolutely fantastic start from the lads. Brilliant football. Gooch in. Round the back. Beautifully played. Fantastic ball. And Jones slides it into the roof of the net. Get in! I think I should be playing Gooch more, really. I used to play him quite a lot, but as soon as we got the likes of Davies in, he hasn't really had a sniff. Maybe I'll have to have a rethink about Gooch. Go on, Gomez, you little trickster. Here is Gucci again. Pulls it back. Can he finish? He can! Straight away! We've been looking for goals for the last five or six games, and now we've just scored two in the opening 14 minutes. What a mad start to this game. And it's Gucci again with another assist. Pulls it back and that is a top class finish. I would expect nothing less from Brereton. It's his second goal already in this competition. I can't believe what I'm seeing, lads. I've been struggling so much to get goals. And we've got off to an absolute blinder. Well in. Help him out. Flick it inside, that's nicely done. It is Sangari, finds your man. He's tried to get Jones in and he nearly gets there. And I think that could be a goal kick. Oh no, it hasn't been given as a goal kick. It's a corner. Come on, someone get your head on it. Whipping in it, it's towards Brereton. It has been headed. Oh my word. Everything we are touching is turning to gold. It is 3-0. 28 minutes gone. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely gobsmacked. What can you say? Three shots, three goals. It's our lucky day, guys. It's our lucky day. I'm not going to be in a bad mood today. Of course, unless we lose the next game or we somehow throw this one away. But I can't believe it. Everything we've touched has gone in. 3-0. Come on, Brereton, lad. Gucci again. Get one in. Good ball. Headed. And it's been saved this time. Either Norwich are really shit or we are just... Incredible today with, a, with what is supposed to be our reserve side. And every player is making a, a statement so far in this game. Go on, Gucci lad. Go on, son. Get it in. Good ball towards the post in it. Nearly finds his man. Not quite, but now here is McTominay. Oh, that's good. And again, turn it. It's Sangori this time. And he's, we're absolutely battering him. I don't think we've left the Norwich half. In this entire first half, we've said that's six shots to the to none. Last couple of games, including the Newcastle game, we had, like I said earlier, 12 shots in that game and only managed to put away one. We've put away half of our shots already in this uh, in this first half. Is it the formation change or is it that I'm not ill anymore? <laughs> and there goes half-time whistle. And what more can you say? That was an absolutely perfect first half. I couldn't have asked any more from the lads. And like I said... Every single one of these players, they're all putting themselves forward for a starting place in the Premier League at the minute because none of them have put a foot wrong. Brilliant, brilliant showing. Go on, Gomez. Smash one son, and it's uh, <laughs> a little bit too optimistic, I think, that one. I pictured it very differently in my head. Oh, that's lovely stuff now. It is Gomez. Smash it across, son. Good save, and doesn't quite meet. Brereton for the rebound, but again, it's just a dominant, dominant half this one. We haven't put away three goals in as quick time as we did in the first, but we're still pressing, still looking good. This is good football here. It is Gomez, turns on, whip one in towards the back post. Good ball. It has been nicked away. Everything's just coming off. Nothing is pissing me off, <laughs> strangely enough. I know it's are actually slowly starting to improve this and a lot more of the ball in the last sort of 10 minutes or so, and they are breaking now, very easy to deal with though, but like I say, they've probably defended a lot better as well, and that wasn't the greatest of balls, go on Jones, on your back son, get it across goal, that's really tame cross, hasn't quite gone as well for us in this second, we've dominated just as much, just haven't really carved out the chances and the opportunities that we did make in the first half. Still a brilliant performance all round, and I do expect the full-time whistle to go any minute. There it goes, and there we are. We're going to the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. I wonder who we're going to be taking on. Imagine winning it. That would be absolutely insane. Get in. What a win. What a performance. Well, here are the other results across the other quarter-finals, and it doesn't look like we have too many big threats. So we do have a very good chance here. We've got Blackburn who beat Bournemouth on penalties. 
Uh, we have Barnsley playing Birmingham and Leicester and Swansea are yet to play. Well, we do have a very, very good chance of winning, winning this whole thing. But it is confirmed there that we will be taking on Blackburn in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup, of course, over uh, over two legs, which is absolutely mad. What an opportunity as well to play Blackburn. I was expecting it to be playing, you know, no, no disrespect to Blackburn, but, you know, somewhat bigger teams at this uh, time in the competition, at this stage in the competition. But it's not to be. They've earned the place there. But now we're going to be taking on Manchester City, which should be a very difficult game. Where are City now? Still around mid-table, 11th place, Manchester City. We are still second, just one point away from the top, despite, you know, th that little run we had when we weren't winning games. We still managed to stay in and around there. Still really good there on 28 points. Man City, they're not going to be an easy team to beat. I will have to reshuffle again because games are starting to come thick and fast. But this is the team we're going to go with. I would have put Gooch in here. I wanted to put Gooch in this side, but unfortunately, his fitness bar is literally on half, so... That isn't going to happen, but we do have Cabrera in goal, Riveros, Twanzabi, Aya, and Wambasaka across the back with Hendo and Grugic in midfield. Dennis, Diaz and Davies sitting just behind Madger. Hopefully we can get off to a similar start as we did to, uh, or against Norwich. I'm, I'm highly doubtful of that, but uh, we shall see. Come on, let's get into it. And here we are, back in the Premier League, welcoming Manchester City. It is, of course, pissing it down at the stage of my life. We don't, it's very rare that we see a sunny day in this game. I could always adjust it, but I don't really care too much. So let's, we'll have a look at the Manchester City side to see what we are coming up against. So here is the City lineup. They have Bravo in goal. They have Militao, Quartes, Mari and Zinchenko across the back. I can't believe Quartes is there, or Coates, however you want to call him. Disco Rudd, Douglas Luiz, De Bruyne in there, Sterling, uh, Gabriel Jesus, Sane as well. So a very different side. A couple of players I'm unfamiliar with there. Uh, they might be youth players that are up and coming, but why on earth they have Quartes or, like I say, Coates? Sebastian Coates, former Sunderland man. Why the hell is he playing for City? What on earth has gone on there? I think they must have been unable to resist a few offers for some of their better players. Hence why they are where they are now. Straight away, we do have a bit of a chance here with Madge coming forward. Go on, Madge. Wambasaka, whip one in first time. Please tell me that's a corner, it is. Hendo to take, it's been whipped in. Get your head in it, Dennis! Free header. And he's ballooned it over the bar. Again, it's a decent start. Oh, that's class. Now we have nicked off him at the back and straight away. It should have been put away by Dennis. Messing around with it there in that right back position. Magic nicked it off him brilliantly. Maybe could have tried to sneak a pass in across goal, but there were quite a few bodies tracking back. Good save. It's another corner. Someone get your head on it. It's been headed away for City. What a chance that was, though, for Dennis to put us into an early lead. Now, here is Sane. We know how good he is. Go on, Son. That is class by Captain Swanza. We're taking no shit from Sane at all. They come forward again, though. It is De Bruyne. Get it away. Oh, big touch there by Grugy. Really putting us in a bit of danger here. Get it away again. Swansby, he's really not taking a liking to Sonny at all. He's getting right stuck into him at every opportunity. And now here comes the really, really quick passing football. Get it out. Well done, Aya. Help him out. That's brilliant stuff. And it is Dennis. They've cut him straight through the back. Go on, Dennis. Finish him off, son. Finish. He's hit the post. Oh, our strikers just cannot score. If only Brereton was on the pitch, that would have been a goal. I know he is. I think he's left-footed, isn't he, Dennis? That's why he took it with his left foot. Still, oh, this is good stuff now. It is Hendo. He tries to bend one out, and that's an awful effort, really. Come on. They're absolutely all over the place at the back. City, they look very dangerous going forward, and I think that must be their downfall so far this season. So threatening going forward, but at the back, they're just an absolute joke. There we go again, losing the ball, or nearly losing the ball. Constantly. Oh, this is class. Now, loads of space for Davies. Cut it back. And again, finish. Go on, how on earth has he missed? Madger is getting worse and worse by the game. He really is. There's something wrong with that lad, I'm telling you. I don't know what it is. He was banging him in for fun in the championship. And yeah, you could say it's more difficult in the Premier League. Of course it is. But some of the howlers and the sitters he's missed. It's absolutely ridiculous. Here they are. As soon as they get into that final third, it's where all the sexy passing appears. But you just don't want Quartes on the ball because he keeps on losing it. 
but he does manage to string a pass together that time. Oh, here's Sonny though, coming down the side. Well played, Davies tracking back. Get there first, get there first. Davies again tracking back. He's been excellent as well, but more defensively in this game. Oh, come on, get two, get two. What a challenge there from Ayer, who hasn't seen too much game time so far this season. But we are breaking now, and it is Davies. Come on, son. Keep on going, keep on going. Strike it, son. Oh, what a save at the near post by Bravo. All of our chances really have been on the counter-attack. Well, that's a great save. He smashed it, Davies. Couldn't have done too much more, really. We do have a corner. Keeper's going to get there first, and that should be the half-time whistle. It is Swanson being his touch is too heavy. And there it does go, the half-time whistle. What an exhilarating game so far. City looks so good coming forward. They haven't really troubled our keeper so far. They pass it around so well in the final third, but in defence, they're just an absolute joke. We're cutting them open time and time again on the counter-attack. We just haven't found the back of the net yet. And the second half is underway. I did just look, by the way, because I know Dennis had that chance earlier, and I thought he may have been left-footed. He's not. He's definitely right-footed, so I don't understand why he was... He keeps going for efforts with the left foot, which is quite weird, and in positions where it was really unnecessary to do that. But now here we are, straight away again, breaking forward. It's Davies getting in behind the defence for first time in this half. Gets it across goal. That's awful. Now they do break forward, City, with Raheem Sterling. He's got so much pace, that lad. Here we go again. Good chance for them. They're trying to open up some space. They've got bodies in abundance here. And it's a good save by Cabrera. I think that's the first save he's had to really make in this game. It is Sterling again. He does try and get one in. Get it away, are you? Well in. And again, get into him. Get into him. Come on. Don't pull him down. Don't pull him down. Oh, this is good stuff. Go on, Ayer again. He's been probably man of the match, along with Alfonso Davies, particularly defensively. Solid as a rock so far. And again, that'll do, son. Just a big brick shit house, isn't he? Sangari, Brereton and Jones are all coming on. We really need someone like Brereton on the pitch. He doesn't have a massive amount of fitness left, but I need, I need him on the pitch right now. Along with Jones as well, who was excellent in that last game. Grant, who was against probably simpler oppositions, shall we say. But still, we look so much better with those players on the pitch. We need to get him behind him. Here we are now. Help him out. Give it back to Hendo. Out wide. Well played. Here is Jones. Get it in. Decent ball. Come on. Come on, it's been cleared away. Come on, help him out, that's it, go on Brereton. Turn quarters, you can do it son. It is, it's still Brereton, finish it off son, he's hit it. Oh, and he's hit it wide. Oh, come on. We're destined for nil-nil, we've gone straight from that 3-0 win against Norwich. Just kind of back to where we were, getting chances, not putting them away. But now here is Sangari, the substitute, we've just come on. Find Diaz, turn, passed it to the wrong man, come on. Oh, that's good stuff now. It is Jones. Get it in, son. Get it in. Smash it across goal. It's been cleared away. Hendo, get your head back in there. It is in there. It's fell for Davies. Oh, I think he was offside anyway, but he's again just passed it to the keeper. Oh, I think we probably deserve this game. In fact, I know we do. But it's going to be another draw, isn't it? Another nil-nil. There goes a full-time whistle. It has been a frustrating one. I think going forward, like I say, City were almost unstoppable if it weren't for a bit of amazing defending from Ayer, who um, doesn't get that many games, but he's played absolutely insane today. Just that defensive uh, lineup from City. They were absolutely all over the place, but we didn't manage to make the most of it. And with that draw, we have now dropped down to third, which is still absolutely insane, but we are falling further and further away with these little results that we're just not quite nicking. We're not losing games, which is great. We've only lost two games so far, which is absolutely excellent, but the draws are starting to rack up a little bit now. But this is the end of the episode, guys. United are currently top of the table. Chelsea in second, we are in third, and Arsenal in fourth, with Wolves doing really well there, sitting in fifth place. Now, as we can see, City have just crept into the top half of the league. Newcastle 13th. Fulham, Everton, Liverpool in 16th, and now Spurs are falling even further away. Now 19th in the bottom three. Cardiff and Burnley joining them there as well. So if you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please hit the like button for me. It would be massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.